hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna just be showing y'all how i do my everyday makeup that doesn't mean i put this on every day seven days a week it's just like if i'm rushing or if i just want to make myself look put together this is what i'll do so i'm gonna start off with a washed and moisturized face and i'm just putting primer on my eyebrows i put the um maybelline baby skin just because i like my eyebrows to have some kind of like slip to them when i'm doing them i don't know and then i'm gonna take this brown pencil from wet and wild and i literally just fill in my eyebrows it's nothing special i just fill them in and i just follow how they're already shaped and my eyebrows are two very completely different shapes but i'm okay with that i just follow the shape that they are and then to carve them out i'm gonna use my makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in the color c13 and i always start on the bottom and i just carve it out because i like my eyebrows to be nice and sharp and if anyone cares i'm using a mac 252 brush i like to use this on the bottom of my eyebrows and then i use a different brush on the top so now i'm gonna take this micro brow pencil i think that's what it's called but it's from nyx and it's i think the color is espresso it's just a brown pencil and it's really small and i like to use that to draw like little hair strokes at the front of my eyebrows it just makes them look better in my opinion and then I'm going to take that same concealer and carve out the top, but with a different brush. This is just some random brush that I got in a cheap brush set, but I like it because it's really firm and it makes it easy to carve them. So yeah, I'm just shaping them how I like them to be shaped and blending the concealer with my finger as I go. Then I'm going to take my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and I just brush my hairs into place and they stay in place all day. I used to use the MAC Clear Brow Set but it does the same exact thing as the NYX one. And now I'm going to take the concealer and just put it on my eyelids and then blend it out. And I'm going to set my eyelids with my favorite powder of all time. The, I've been using this in every video ever. The Sasha Buttercup Powder. I'm just going to put that on my eyelids. And then I'm going to take this like tannish, brownish, warm color from Coastal Scents. It's called Oktoberfest. And even when I'm not doing eyeshadow look, I just like to put that in my crease because, I don't know, I don't like to leave it plain. And I'm going to use two different primers. I'm putting on my nose the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer and then the Benefit Matte Gel Primer on the rest of my face. I fucking love this primer. I didn't think I would like it because it's a gel and it's like, it's kind of weird to me, but it just makes my face look so smooth and so matte. Like, I love it. And then I'm going to color correct as always with my LA Girl concealer in the color orange I always color correct around my mouth and under my eyes now for foundation I'm using my NYX can't stop won't stop foundation I use the color deep cool I don't know why it's called deep cool when it's warm AF like it's literally even described as warm but yeah it's called deep cool and that's the foundation I'm using you guys know I like my foundation to be a little dark so I'm just patting it into my skin it's sped up so you can't really tell but I'm not swiping it I'm really like dabbing it into my skin and it just gives the prettiest finish I love it so much And then for concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. I fell in love with these over the summer. Like, I love them so much. I use the colors Caramel and Tan. I think Tan is the darker one. That's the one I'm putting on right now. It's a little darker than Caramel. So I put Tan in all my usual spots that I highlight under my eyes, above my lip, chin, forehead, nose, 
you already know and then caramel is a little lighter so i just put that on top because i'm very dramatic and i like my highlight to be bright and then i'm just gonna blend it in with a damp beauty blender And then just to make sure everything looks perfect and blended together, I like to take my foundation brush with whatever foundation is left over on the brush and just go over like the edges of the concealer that I just put on. And then I'm going to set my highlighted areas with my Sasha Buttercup powder and I really press it into my skin because my skin gets oily so I really like press it in. Next to contour my face, I'm going to use my MAC Film Noir Blush. It's so dark and so pretty. So I just put that like in my cheekbones and then around my forehead. And now I'm just going to dust off all of the excess Sasha Buttercup Powder. Then I use that same Film Noir blush to contour my nose. Now to kind of clean up the nose contour and just make it look even sharper, I bake the sides and the middle of my nose all over again, only for like 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna dust it off. And then I like to go over my face with a powder that's the color of my skin. I love, love, love the black opal um, deluxe finishing powder in the color dark. I've been using this like literally since I started playing in makeup. Like I don't want to use any other powder. Like it's so perfect. It just makes my face look like a fucking like baby. I love it. And then for blush, I'm going to use from MAC. It's called Adobe Brick. And it just gives me a little bit of color on my cheeks. I just like how it looks and then I'm gonna spray my face with my morphe continuous mist spray I think that's what it's called I love how that makes my face look and I went ahead and put on my lashes off camera if you like my lashes they're from my sister's line they're in the color Brooklyn I'll put the information in the description box and for highlight I'm gonna use one of my favorite OG highlighters it's gold deposit from Mac and I just put that on the regular high points of my face so like Cheek point, uh, what the fuck is cheek points? Um, <laughs> cheekbones, um, sometimes my brow bone, just a little bit, a little bit. Um, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And then I like to take a smaller brush and put it on my nose. And even though this is my natural everyday look, I still have to use two highlighters. So I'm gonna go in with the um, my Mimi highlighter from Mac. It was from Mariah Carey's collection. And I'm just putting that on top of gold deposit. And then this next step is completely optional. I just like to do this because I'm extra. I like to use my NYX um, matte liquid liner. And I like to draw on beauty marks or like molds, whatever you want to call them. I always draw three in the same spots. I only show myself doing two though. But I always draw them in the same spots. And I just like the way it makes my face look. I don't know. Then I'm going to spray my face with my Urban Decay Oil Control Setting Spray. And now I'm lining my lips with the same pencil that I did my eyebrows with, the brown pencil from Wet n Wild. And I always just line my bottom lip regular and then I kind of overline my top lip a little bit because it's kind of small to me. And for lipstick, I'm going to use one of my favorite OG MAC lipsticks. This was the first lipstick I ever bought from MAC. It's called Honey Love and then I blend it in really good. And for gloss, I'm going to use Bare Secret from Milani. They definitely don't sell this anymore. But it's one of my favorite lip glosses. And then that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This really only takes me like 30, maybe 35 minutes. It's my favorite type of look. I just feel so pretty. 
when I have on like no shadow, no liner. It's just mad cute. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.